Hi guys, it is your favorite teacher over here. It's Teacher Connie today with a very educational, I don't know if you can call this educational, but an informative video about a topic related to smoking. What a surprise! But anyway, today we're going to be smoking on a camel blue because, ah, oh, this pack is like almost halfway through. I just like that camels don't destroy like the top part like Melbourne Reds do, like the the top part of Melbourne is always the rips off, I don't know why, but anyway. And we're going to be talking about how to get rid of the smell of cigarettes because it is a very strong smell and a lot of people don't like it even if they're smoking, if they're smokers, they don't want to be having everything smelling like cigarettes, right? Wait, oh my god. By the way, this is me without my glasses. Anyway, we're never doing this again, but I needed to adjust my hair. So, whatever, I look like a stupid anime character with really small eyes without my glasses, but whatever. So, one of the- there are some categories into this topic, right? The simplest things that I do are, for example, I always have gum in my car because I mostly smoke in my car, I smoke outside, so I have gum like in my bag and in my car. So just pop a gum after you smoke a cigarette if you if like you want your breath to be a little fresher. And I always have hand sanitizer, this is just some random one from the grocery store. And perfume so that you can like disinfect your hands or like just clean your hands and spray some perfume perfume on you of course it's not gonna get rid of the smell of the cigarette but it's kind of gonna mask it like it's just a short-term solution if you're gonna meet someone and you don't want to be smelling like cigarettes you can just put on a few sprays you know but one big problem is for example the smell of cigarettes staying on surfaces like if you're smoking inside at home or something first you shouldn't because if you smoke inside for a long time like your walls and ceiling are probably gonna turn yellow so you shouldn't do that but if you want to smoke inside and you just you're just worried about the smell one thing that I do all the time is you know like those little sticks that I, I think it's called incense that like you have different smells like lavender strawberry lemon whatever a lot of smells and you just start burning in the tip and then it burns all the way through and like lets like a smoke in the air that smells really good incense is for me the best thing to clear the smell of cigarette inside because it just overpowers the smell of it like the smell of incense overpowers the smell of cigarettes so everything just smells really good when you pop one of those um i personally like to pop one and just like sit on the ground and just enjoy the smell honestly i might look a little hippie when i do it because i'm like just on the ground sitting just appreciating the smell um but it is really good and it helps a lot with clearing the smell of cigarettes inside also wiping your surfaces with white vinegar always um helps a lot as well um Those are the only two indoor tips I think I know because I don't really smoke indoors. When you see me smoking on those videos where I'm in my room, I have like the biggest window in front of me and I make sure that when I smoke inside, the wind is facing like outwards, so it's not facing towards me or my room. So I usually pay attention to that just to make sure that the smoke isn't really coming a lot inside, just it's going outside the most of it. But of course I always pop an incense after I smoke in my room just cuz I don't want to I don't want it smelling at, like cigarettes like I like I really like when someone lights a cigarette the first like hit of the person I really like the smell of that for some reason but after that I just really don't really appreciate the smell of cigarettes I was talking to my boyfriend about this and I was telling him that I was going to record this video today and yesterday I recorded the nicotine poisoning experiences and he told me like it kind of looks like you hate cigarettes and you're just telling everyone how you can hide it and what happened to you but like I do not hate cigarettes or else I wouldn't smoke them of course I just there's of course like everything in, in life there's just parts of it that I don't enjoy as much as like the, the buzz or the taste of it right I just don't enjoy the smell of it 
if I have the possibility, I smoke and then I wash my hands right after and I take a shower because the smell of cigarettes sticks to my hair a lot because I have long hair, like everyone with long hair can relate to this probably. And another thing I like to do is like spray a little bit of perfume on my little brush and just like brush through my hair because it enter the smell of the perfume just enters my hair so much better if I do that instead of just like spraying all over, you know? Also, if I'm going to meet someone and I know that that person really does not like cigarettes at all, I usually sometimes, I usually sometimes, that's not a thing, I usually have like a t-shirt in my car, I just have like a My Chemical Romance t-shirt here, and I have a bunch of like Billie Eilish merch um, back there, just in case I need to like change so that, because I don't want to make every, anyone uncomfortable, you know, and like there's some people that really don't like it and I'm just like, okay, it's fine, I'm not gonna make you like smell it of course but did you see that ghost though i've been trying so hard to learn that because everyone's been telling me okay connie we've got through the french inhale now you need to learn how to ghost and i'm like i was like i couldn't for a while and i was trying and i was doing the most like wicked stuff and now i'm kind of getting the hang of it let's try again I just exhaled all of it. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna try it one more time and then we're gonna stop with that. Anyway, I really don't like when there's people passing through me and watching me record because I feel so shy, but I'm getting better at it. Like there's people passing right by me right now and I'm not gonna stop talking because I am not that shy anymore. I kind of am, but I like to pretend I'm not. Anyway. What else do I do? I don't even know. I guess those are all my tips, honestly, because there's not much you can do. Like, if you don't want to smoke, if you don't want the smell of cigarettes on you, just don't smoke as much. Or, like, that's a stupid advice. But that's a really dumb advice, whatever. Just, okay, perfume, gum for your breath. Wash your, like, brush your teeth if you can. Probably you cannot because you're like out. You're not gonna go sp like sprinting in your home. Like I have to brush my teeth because I just had a cigarette. Like no one does that. But that's also a solution, of course. Um, but the main ones are hand sanitizer, perfume, gum. Those are the main ones. And then just for how just incense and white vinegar to wipe your surfaces. And also in your car, you can wipe your surfaces with uh, whatever like car cleaner spray you have i don't know how you say that in english or whatever i feel like my accent i i do have an accent i know that but i feel like i can mask it with a lot of words that i can say properly with an american accent whatever and then there are some words that i just have no idea what to say so i just say a bunch of words to describe one thing because i don't know how to say that one thing you know But anyway, honestly, those were all my tips. Um, and for the rest of the day, I don't even know, guys. Like, I've been waking, I've been waking up like what, 6 p.m. again. I know, but I just have this thing where, like, me and my boyfriend just stay like in our computers really late, and then it's like 4 a.m. And then we're like, okay, tomorrow we're gonna wake up at like one. And then we wake up at one, and then we stay awake until like 6 a.m. And then we wake up at three and then it's just a whole cycle and i end up waking up at night again but whatever whenever it's summertime and the sun sets at 9 p.m it's not gonna make any difference but for now it's winter and the sun sets at fucking 5 p.m so we're gonna have some night videos you know <sighs> but whatever i am kind of fixing the lighting i should film without my glasses but i can't really see well without my glasses and also i look like a goblin so it's just something that I'm not gonna do, for now at least, um, but whatever. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video though. And I'm going to be back tomorrow with a short. And in two days with like a video. I think I'm gonna record a... I don't even, I don't even know what yet. But I'm, I'm gonna find that out and I am going to come back to you soon. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe! 
if you want to, leave a like and follow me on my social medias because I post sometimes, like a lot on my stories, but not much on my feed. Whatever. I will see you all very soon. Bye bye.